five gruesome and unfortunate deaths of historical figures. History is littered with tales of the untimely demise of many well-known characters, but some deaths are more notable than others, either through their gruesomeness or their absurdity. Let's take the death of William Huskisson, which to say was ironic is an understatement. Unlike famous people who met an unfortunate death, Huskisson became famous for how he died. He was the first person to be killed by a train and even the train was more famous than he was, as it was Stevenson's rocket, the first ever train. The irony is that Huskinson was a member of parliament and had voted in favor of the building of the controversial railway line that he was killed on. You have to feel a bit sorry for King Edward II though. His dad was the epitome of a warrior king who spent much of his time on crusades or conquering other lands. His son, Edward II, was appreciably more effeminate, and during his 10-year reign, it was widely rumored that he was gay. Edward II wasn't really a people person, and he was exceptionally good at alienating those close to him. In fact, he was so good that eventually his wife, Isabella, plotted against him and had him deposed from the throne. Too dangerous to still have a former reigning king alive, Edward II was murdered at Berkeley Castle by having a red hot poker rammed up his rectum. Now that's gotta hurt. We've all heard of William the Conqueror, but while his actions in battle were those of a genuine hero, his death later in life was the total opposite. In his retirement, William put on a colossal amount of excess weight and went out riding one day when his horse unexpectedly reared up the pommel on the front of his saddle ruptured his guts. William died a few months later, but worse was yet to come. During his funeral, William's stomach actually exploded, filling the church with a foul stench and forcing the funeral to be completed with great speed. Some of you may be familiar with the name Spencer Percival, but may be struggling to remember why. He was the only member of British Parliament to be assassinated while in office. His assailant was John Bellingham, who simply walked up to Percival in the lobby of the House of Commons and shot him in the chest. Being an observant man, Percival cried out, I am murdered, though it took him several hours to actually die. Finally, we have the challenger to William Huskinson for the most ironic death. John Hanning Speak was a famous African explorer who is best known for his search for the source of the Nile while also being the first European to reach Lake Victoria. Now, before you wonder how it was named Victoria if he was the first European to discover it, it wasn't named Victoria at the time, but was given the name Victoria by Speak in honor of the Queen. Speak found himself in some of the most hostile lands and even Speak himself probably believed he would meet his end at the hands of some savage tribesman or rampaging lion on the basis he hadn't succumbed to any of the many tropical diseases that ran rife at the time. But no, Speak did not meet the death of a romantic explorer. Instead, he accidentally shot himself while climbing over a two foot wall when out hunting at home. Do like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And from all of us at History HQ, we'll see you next time.